Let's carpet. go to Richard, who's an Arsenal fan. Richard. What, Rich? How you going, boys? All right. Ephro right, Rich. Rich. Yeah. Well, I'm not in Ephro at the moment. I'm, I'm in my Sussex abode. Oh, but, uh, right. OK. Because of the weather. It's too hot in London. Don't yeah. be looking like that, Case. The biggest betrayal, the biggest betrayal ever, yeah. is the one that you've just said. I've never felt the same way about Arsenal or Wenger, especially after they saw Robin Van Persie to Manchester United. It was, it was the biggest betrayal ever, and I think most Arsenal fans would agree with me. Right. It was a it, shocker, but it was a great move for him. Won the league. It was a, listen, Manchester United, Arsene Wenger, and um, Arsene Wenger and Alex Ferguson, their, their dislike of each other was legendary. And, and Manchester United wouldn't give, tell us the time if they was handcuffed to Big Ben, let alone sell our biggest striker to them mm. to help them win the league, and then replace them with Shamak and Nicholas Bentner oh. and Yaya Sonogo. I mean, it's it, 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 bad recruitment, that, isn't it? It's bad recruitment, that, Rich. It was, well, it was just an awful betrayal to sell him to our biggest rivals at the time. But, they, but he had a year left on his contract, Rich, and he would have walked for nothing. And, and you know, they, it's almost like Arsenal with the hands tied. Case, you'd rather let him, but you'd rather, wouldn't you rather him just walk for nothing and go somewhere else, than, yeah. and then go for twenty five million, which is nothing for what he was offering, um, going exactly. to Man United. Yeah, exactly. but look, 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 it's not twenty five million. Look, it was, it, it was ne- look, it was never ending with Manchester. It was Addy Bayor, yeah. um, Clichy. Yeah. Um, even recently, I, I said the one place I didn't want Alexis Sanchez to go to was Man United, mm-hmm. and he went to Man United. It was never, ever ending with Arsenal during that time. Yes, it was, you're and, right, yeah. There's a lot of them, but, wasn't there? But, but Van Persie was the biggest betrayal ever. It helped them win the league, and it was the beginning of the end for Arsenal for about a decade. Mm, yeah, no, you're right. You're right, Rich. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Let's go to Sam, who's a Liverpool fan. Sam, good evening. All right, Sam. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good, you? How are you doing? Yeah, yeah good. Are you, are you, are you, um, you want to talk about betrayals? Fernando Torres to Chelsea. Oh, that was a bad one. Mm. That was it. He got 50 million for it, though, Sam. He got 50 mil. I know, but at the time, he was, it was all we had. I can, I can, I can imagine, actually. Cause he, he, he flopped he, at Chelsea, that's the, didn't he? That's the well, lowest, he didn't. As, as Liverpool fan, that is the lowest point of my life, that stage. Mm. We were awful. We had nothing, and he left, and that was it. Yeah. Up until yeah. The, the who did you, who did you get day. in, Sam, after that? Louis Suarez the same day, lucky enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it, I mean, it wasn't a bad it, trade in the end. Did Andy Carroll rock up as well? In, in the end, but when, when you look at it, is he leaves yeah. at the time? It's oh my god, we just lost it. But then, in in the long term, Louis Suarez comes in. He's the best player I've I've, I've yeah. ever seen live in Anfield. Yeah. I tell you but, what, I tell you what, Sam. I I played against that midfield of uh, Alonso, Gerard, Mascarano, and Fernando Torres was up front. I tell you what. People used to think he was a goal scorer, Sam, and he was an unbelievable goal scorer. But this guy worked so hard off the ball; he never yeah. gave you a second on it. Like he, he yeah. you know, a bit like how Gabriel Jesus plays, like Rooney used to play. Fernando Torres used to do that, and he stopped doing that when he went to Chelsea. But at Liverpool, he was ridiculous. Fantastic. Yeah, he was fantastic. But yeah, that midfield we had, though, we we should have won more trophies. That 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 team is the way. The fact we never won anything in that phase is still, I still baffles me to this yeah. day. Yeah, but you, I, I always think though, Sam, and because I, I remember playing against that Liverpool side, and that, and it, for me, it was the best, it was the best midfield I ever played against. It was ridiculous yeah. that midfield of of, yeah, of them three, and like. and and you had Torres up front, but you didn't have yeah. that world class winger, did you? No, that was that, that was always the thing you didn't have. We had everything through the middle. We had obviously Gerard, Mascherano, yeah. Alonso. Alonso again. We have Thiago now. Alonso was the best passer of a football I think I've ever seen. He was ever. ridiculous. He was ridiculous. You never, you never, you, every time he got the ball, you knew he weren't going to give it away. Mm. He, was, he was brilliant. And then obviously Torres and behind, it was, it was just you knew every time he got the ball, you knew he was going to score. Then mm, uh, we had no, we had no outlet out wide. We had nothing else. But quite, we should have won. Tell you what, I tell you what, Sam, you could do that midfield right now, can you? Um, it, we, it, Imagine it, if you had that midfield now. I don't even think that midfield now. The only thing, the only missing piece, or missing piece to our pull, jigsaw is Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne. It, he's the only person. If, if we could bring in, he's the only person. I absolutely love him. 
Yeah, I think he's the best. I think he's the best midfielder in the world by like a country mile. Yeah. And I can't stand City. <laughs> <laughs> So good. Yeah, just look, Sam. While I've got you on, because we're gonna we're gonna build up to this, because it's on Talk Sport on Monday. Uh, Liverpool, Man United. It's a huge game. Oh, both of you. This is a must win for both of you. It's the most win. And if you were to ask me who I'd want to play next, I'd say Man United. Yeah. They were the only, the, the simply the only team in the. Yeah, but I do you know what, Sam? Because the history of the two clubs. You know, it would not surprise me Man United get something out of this. You know, look no, at the, the, yeah. you no, know, I, think gonna, I think Liverpool win this. Like well, they should, five, they should win it, but I'm not. Conv- I, I think this could be a bit of a. It could, wouldn't surprise me if it's a draw. This. Another it's draw, one of yeah. anything. Is, it, or it's a derby. So essentially, yeah, all yeah, form yeah, could yeah, go out the yeah, window. Yeah, but yeah. if you look at it, yeah, if both teams rock up and play the way it, they, they they both have been, it, it, Liverpool should play, win. If, if they play to their best ability, and we yeah, play to our best yeah, ability. Four 0 yeah. yeah. No, it should be. You're absolutely right. Yeah, absolutely you know? right. Yeah. Sam, brilliant call.